Hey everyone, if this is your first time to the channel, please do so. Make sure that you're subscribed. Uh, make sure you hit that bell for notifications and please feel welcome to leave a comment and also leave a like. It does help our channel grow. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Mo's Toy Room from My Room Tours. And today we're going to unbox and take a close look at the Texas Chainsaw Massacre's Leatherface Statue Special Halloween Edition. This is from Spirit Halloween. These tend to be very hard to find, folks. And we got lucky and found one at Spirit Halloween. We also found the Pennywise one. Uh, so head up to your local Spirit Halloween stores, especially the new stores that are just opening up or haven't been open too long. They're also they have they have they might have some in the back. And I think that that's how we got these. Um, maybe they're starting to bring stuff out little by little for that way. A lot of scalpers don't tend to grab them all up to resell them, especially around this time to give everybody a chance. So keep checking your local Spirit Halloween stores and see if you can get one. Here we have Leatherface, folks. So this one is a hard to find one. As you could tell, this box is massive. This is a big statue. Um, so yeah, we're going to take a look at this, folks. You can see the front of that box. Look at how big that thing is. I'm trying to and get in with my camera to give you a good look at this thing. Yeah, look at that, folks. This thing is just massive. So here you have amongst the uh, front of this package, you can see very clearly that it says the Texas Chainsaw Massacre right there on the top. Leatherface statue also has the try me button in there and you can see how it looks amongst there. It's not a it's a little blurry as you can see. It's just the, the plastic that they got him in. Uh, you can see that. Let's turn this thing to the side. It, this thing is so massive I have to hold this thing up or else I'm not going to be, be able to get real close to it for you to see it. You can see the side of that package right there, how that looks. That's our guy right there inside. I don't know if so much of his apron is that orange, uh, but you can see highly detailed uh, sculpture, um, movie accurate um, chainsaw audio, and then right in the bottom right there says Spirit Halloween. Um, you could also see this right here. Okay, there you go. Requires three AAA batteries, uh, one five volt battery. Um, you can see that. I don't know if I have a five volt, but I will give you um, some of the sounds that they have. And I'll probably do that right now. So that way, in case I take it out of the package, um, the little battery thing won't, won't, uh, won't work so this thing supposedly stands 12 inches tall uh highly detailed sculpture movie accurate chainsaw audio so that's what we are getting inside of this beauty all right folks so let me hit that little button so that way you could see see if i can hold this yeah you can hear that Yeah, it's, it's a long ways. And it, that's what it does. Yeah. This is a nice piece. Yeah, you can hear Leatherface in there. Oh! Alright, folks. So let's get this beauty out of the package. Take a close look at it. Alright, folks. So what I want to do is I had a... I have to get off the chair just to be able to do this. I want to show you how big this box is. This box is over 14 and a half inches in tallness and over, uh, slightly over 12 inches uh, in wideness, just to let you know. And then in depth, this thing is also 12 and a half inches. Um, so let's do centimeters wise. All right, so centimeters, he's looking at about 37 centimeters. And then the width would be about 12, uh, about 31 centimeters. And then the depth of this thing, 
uh, 31, looks like 31 and a half. So it's a big one, yeah. Let me get that right, make sure, yeah, 37. Wow, what a big one. All right, folks, first off, tail of the tape, from the base all the way up to his hair, he's about 12 and a quarter inches. Okay, and then from his foot to his, a little over his hair, he's like 10 and a quarter inches. Okay, so, and then if we do centimeters wise, our leather face is checking out. Yeah, to be very close is about 31 centimeters. And from the bottom of his foot, he is like around 26. All right, so here is our leather face. We got him out of the package. This thing is not only massive, but it's very heavy. Um, I don't know if Spirit Halloween has ever done anything quite like this. This piece is very uh, fought over and people really want this piece. I consider myself very lucky getting it. But here on Moe's Toy Room during Halloween time, we want to give you uh, pretty much what is out there. And we love Halloween here, 365 days a year folks this is how we are with horror in our household from the movies to the toys to the t-shirts to the merchandise this is what we do here right here we are adding the brand new uh texas chainsaw massacre leatherface statue spirit halloween edition you can see how this looks very nice i'm trying to give it a another side profile you can see how that looks right there let me see if i can move it this piece is big just a really big piece. It's just massive. And this creates Leatherface the way that you would see him in a movie. I'm not so keen. I get it. It's a statue, right? I'm not so keen on the orange um, apron. Uh, but they did use just regular paints and solid colors. They could have given it a little bit more detail. Uh, to it and painted it up a little bit better but for the price tag of this thing folks this thing is $90 US dollars so it's $89.99 um, yeah it's you know is it is it worth it I mean if you're a hardcore uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre collector or you are a collector of horror uh, genre memorabilia period Yes, definitely for but for the average consumer ninety dollars could be very very expensive. I know it's even expensive for me, and uh, you know you kind of second guess your your buy um, after you leave with it. But then when you open it up and you see it, and it, the way that your collection tends to come around and look more and more complete, um, this adds to it, folks, because you don't know if they're gonna put anything out like this again. Uh, with Spirit Halloween, big items such as this one, they might show up maybe one or two years. Uh, you know, first year and the second year they might show up. But the third year, the odds of them showing up again is just not going to happen. Uh, so, yeah, when you see them, try and get them, folks. So let me uh, give you an up close as to some of the positives and the negatives on this beauty. So here we have our leather face right here. You can see him looking real, real smooth. Yeah, there. look at that face. Look how he looks, folks. Looks real good. Go down to his base. You can see that. Got the bones. Everything on there. He has pumpkins, which is odd. I don't remember ever seeing leather face smashing pumpkins, but I do do love the way that this looks I like how they did that look at the chainsaw um, this is what I'm talking about can you see like the paint like how it's coming undone it almost makes it look like the piece is cracked oh, let me see if I can get back a little bit because it's tending to focus on my other things that are in the background okay you can see with the hands yeah they, they could have added like some better paint Verse just having solid white here and then the apron, they could have made it look a little bit more uh, worn and used, just like the mask. I think it would have came out more creative. Uh, this right here is not um, a hard uh, 
what ceramic material like the rest of the statue is so you might want to watch it with that that thing can definitely break but the chainsaw is that ceramic material uh, I like the way that the header looks on it Texas Chainsaw Massacre I love the pumpkins uh, here's the thing though folks look how crooked that chainsaw is um, yeah that's one thing that I can't figure out I would have loved to have had it a lot more straight on this one but it is what it is um, so yeah you can see like some of the paint how they paint it over but they could have painted like the inseam in there a little bit more uh, if you are really good with paintwork you could probably redo the apron to the original color and kind of maybe uh, dirty them up a little bit more and and make his pants not so shiny if you want it to much like how the, his feet are like his feet look good the boots but then the shiny pants and then uh, the all white undershirt and then even then right here it looks like it could be cracking you can see that it looks like, I don't know if it's a paint crack or what it is, but yeah, hopefully this thing will withstand the test of time. Um, for 90 bucks, you expect it to, so hopefully, but the base is just kick-ass. I love the way that that looks. I love the way that the flooring looks, the hardwood flooring. You can see it off-centered and the way that he would have it in his house. Um, really cool touch. But I absolutely love the way that they did the pumpkins. The pumpkins came out really nice, folks. What do you guys think? Are you going to pick this thing up? You know, they could have gave us better blood. Um, better shading on, on the apron. But the mask just looks major crazy. I mean, I love the way that it looks. And I know detailers can even go more into depth with that. And really go all out and really do up his hair and everything else. Uh, for this leather face piece but not bad you can see how he has I wish his little um, bracelet right there would have came a little bit more detailed the way that he would have had teeth and everything else on there um, but hey for 90 bucks for a statue uh, I didn't expect to pick this up when I went I went for an outfit for my son uh, and ended up leaving with this one and the uh, it pennywise so that one will that review will also be following folks and hey if this is your first time to the channel and you like what you see go down into our library where we have a lot of horror horror related uh unboxings and reviews uh and some haunts in there uh this might be the channel for you folks and for all my subscribers that i have thank you guys so much for sticking with most horror for so long All right, folks, so that's it for my up-close look at the Texas Chainsaw Massacre's Leatherface statue. This is a Spirit Halloween exclusive. It is the only way that you can get it. You could probably check online, and if they're sold out, you're just going to have to go from store to store. Hopefully, they'll have one in the back. It's, it's worth asking for uh, if this is your thing, yeah, and you want to get one. Uh, go all out and try and get one from Spirit to Spirit before just picking them one up from a scalper uh, because you never know um, I took this out of the package there are some paint differences that I would have did different uh, it looks like some of the areas are cracking as well um, but it's a leather face statue and it looks quite quite pleasing from far far away or you have it with the rest of your leather face uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre merchandise and collectibles this is a good fit folks all right so please like, comment, subscribe, and from most torn to yours, everyone, good night.